It is time for Stugatz to share his game notes. No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my boy Stu. Weekend observations. Brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste. 96 calories. Available for delivery. Dan, I didn't expect to be saying this for another three weeks. But, due to the rare weekend where I wasn't traveling combined with Phil Farrow telling me that I would die if I went outside, I sat down and watched football. And not just any football. Preseason football. And Dan, out of nowhere, just like that, make no mistake about it, sitting on my ass the entire weekend, Watching football is back. Felt good. Preseason football. I gambled. <laughs> gambling again. Oh, I'm gambling again, too. Oh, I got one I swore it off for a month. <laughs> and then your boy was on Sao Paulo Flamingo. I can hear grease in your throat. I mean. This is the rare Phil Farrow's telling you you're going to die because it's too hot, not because it's raining too much, yes, right? Yes, correct. Yes, this is not a storm flying over my house. This is just don't go outside. You might die. It's hot out. He's right. He is right. Put it on the pole. It's grease in my throat. <laughs> Marcus hey, Mariota yo. is an eagle. So is Rashad Penny and DeAndre Swift. Oh, number zero. Yes. It's what in a your move. Throat. Yeah. Dan, you know what the I in Iowa stands for? I have the under. It stands for I have a gambling problem. Oh, I'm sorry. I took. <laughs> they have the under, too. <laughs> Jacoby Brissett, commander. Kirk Ferentz. Really seems to have a firm grip over his football program. Blaine Gabbert, Kansas City Chief. And as always, not terrible. Mike, do you know what the I in Iowa stands for? I I feel like I took the wind out of your last I'm show. gambling again! Oh, right. <laughs> a little loud, Jeremy? A little beat. bit. We got a compressor. Justin Fields looks like he's coming for everyone's shit. He had Can't negative six air yards. Oh, I'm sorry, Billy. He had negative six air yards. It was a screen pass. All his passes were negative air yards. It looks good. I mean, come they on. They look great. DJ Moore looked good. <laughs> DJ Moore is amazing. He is. Touchdown, first pass, right? It's a little screenplay, 60 yards. Yep. Is Blaine Gabbert the new Chad Henney? Something to ponder. I swear to you, Stu, after your previous line about Blaine Gabbert, I looked at Tony and I said, man, he's really following the Chad Henney career route, huh? And <laughs> here we Moore. are. Matt Matt That's amazing. The yes. forefathers. <laughs> Maybe it's because we speak the same language, home country, great story. But for some reason, I feel like once the U.S. were eliminated from the World Cup, the natural thing to do was to switch our allegiances to Australia. Fair? Fair. Trevor Simeon is a Bengal. If you're not rooting for Australia to win the World Cup, you're not American. The Matildas. <laughs> you like that? I did. Top five things I love about Australia. Number five, Leighton Hewitt. Number four, <laughs> Crocodile Dundee. That's not a moif. Number three. That's a moif. Guzmani Gomez. Great taco joint. I also Melbourne. like Melbourne. Check it out. My friends own it. What? I also like how you say how they say seven. 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 It should have been a top seven. No. Seven. How do they say Steven? Steven. Seven. <laughs> Steven. Hmm. Number two, Mike. It sounded Dutch. Melbourne. Mike, you're the only one who will agree with me on this. Patrick Rafter. <laughs> oh, you had me with Leighton Hewitt, though, to be honest. <laughs> and number one. Huge upset over Roger Federer back in the day when I was gambling again. The Bloomin' Onion. I had a feeling we was going to go there. I love that. I read a, an aggregated story on an IG account that I, is nameless that uh, Outback Steakhouse is, like, the biggest restaurant in Brazil. Hmm. I saw that. Yeah. Not Texas Day Brazil? No, it's not. Oh. They love their Outback Steakhouse. Interesting. The Dodgers are going to be a problem. Blaine Gabbert gonna be. carries a clipboard proudly. I like Zach Wilson more and find them to be more attractive when he's my backup. And he looked pretty good, too. I know. As a backup. Yeah. Tom Brady, visiting soccer fans in a pub before the game. Tom, the J.J. Watt is strong in you. Also, he's coming back. 
When I go outside, I feel like I'm melting. Josh Dobbs is a Cleveland Brown. How does Chad Henney not have a podcast called a Henny for your thoughts? Huh? Anyone? Because it's a whack name. Uh, Last week you did it with Brad Penny. I did. And it went so well that you said, let me find a follow-up Chad Henney. That's why I brought it back. Yeah. His should be Henny thing as possible. Oh, I like that. That's pretty good. Salute to me in the comms. Malik Willis. What was the Ron say? Uh, what was final, the final say? The final say. Yeah. say it ain't so. Yeah. <laughs> worth keeping an eye on. That was Malik Willis. Top five guys worth keeping an eye on throughout uh, through one week of the preseason. I can't pronounce his name. I don't know why I put it down. Israel Abaniconda. Jets running back. That's why running backs have a problem. A Bonnie Conda comes in out of nowhere, never heard of him. He reels off 70 yards rushing, like 50 yards in the air. I mean, that's that's the deal. Anyone can play that position, including a Bonnie Conda. Number four, Sam Howell. Pretty good. Tony, pretty good. He's going to be a starter. I know. Number three, Trey Lance. Still needs to show me a little something. I'm just saying it's worth keeping an eye on. Still needs to show me something. Number two, Stetson Bennett. I've got another top five list that Stetson Bennett's a part of that I want to do, but he was actually. You got a Bonnie Conda right. Did I really? <laughs> That's amazing. Unreal. You were actually watching and listening. Number one, Malik Willis. Watch out for the brew crew. Tampa Bay has both Baker Mayfield and Kyle Trask listed as QB1. You, of course, know what that means, right, Dan? When you have two quarterbacks. You don't have it one. It means if you have two QB1s, you don't have one. It also means you don't have a QB2. How about that? You were right. You were on it. Baker looked good. Melvin Gordon is Play a Raven. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Barkley keeps chugging along. Immaculate grid legend, He's in Matt Buffalo, Barkley. Jeremy. <laughs> he has been Melvin Gordon's Super the Bowl. one that got me, actually. Yeah. Melvin Gordon's Gordon. a Raven, huh? He is. How Super Bowl that? champion, yeah. Melvin yeah. Gordon. Super Bowl champion. That's yeah. right. I guarantee you Melvin Gordon's going to have a fumble six at the goal line this year. <laughs> it's the easiest prediction I've ever made. getting in the game, right. huh? Yeah. Death, taxes, and Matt Barkley going 14 of 15 for 172 yards at two tutties in a preseason game. You said Melvin Gordon was on the Ravens? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to get in the game. They, <laughs> the running backs always get hurt. On Saturday, the Mets and Braves played a doubleheader, and the Mets lost by a combined score of 27 to 3. I hate them. The Bravos. <laughs> I think they're cheating. Well said. They, they look like they're – I mean, their box scores look like they're cheating anyways. Latavius Murray, brace yourselves. Buffalo Bill. You know, you know Damian Harris is too? Also, yeah. Really? Old yeah. Face oh, it's, pre, it's pre-ranked season. Feels like we're a storm away from everything ending. Will Sneed IV. Also True. San Francisco 49er. No way. Yep, I swear. No way. I saw it with my own eyes. No way. Yep. Archaeologists over the weekend discovered a 17th century vampire child with a padlocked ankle in a Polish graveyard. No word yet on if the vampire child's last name was Patino. (laughs) All of a sudden, Lucas Glover is the best golfer in the world. Golf, hell of a game. Speaking of hell, Art Bryles. Dan, those are the weekend observations.